The safes in front of me are all fitted with cam locks and it's a specific type of cam lock. It's a cross lock and it is a very specific type of cross lock. It's what I refer to as a short cylinder open ended cross lock. They are used in these confined space machine applications. Unfortunately for these safes and any other safe fitted with this type of cross lock, this lock is very easily compromised. This is the Bulldog Vault BD4010. It's discontinued. The bypass cylinder is right here. I'll use the key so you can see it's functioning. It works. Now what do you do if you don't have keys for this type of cylinder and you need to open a safe? I'm hoping the locksmiths and other technicians watching this recognize that you don't shove one of these down there. This cylinder is literally no more than about a quarter of an inch in depth. There's wiring running inside of here. There's a good chance you could snag that wiring and damage the safe. I've never actually shoved one of these picks down this type of cylinder. I imagine you could even bend one of these picks or tines and get hung up on the back side of the cylinder. So what do you do? There's a special set of rakes made just for addressing these short cylinder cross locks. They come in sets of five. What you do is insert one after another down the keyway to find the right fit. If it's too tight, you'll overset pins. If it's too loose, you won't be able to set anything. This one fits. You push one of these in all the way, then you give it very light tension. The cam lock is simply rotating an arm that draws back the hardware, the bolt work, which includes the bolts and the motor that drives those bolts. So there's no spring tension on this. Just give it very light tension and start raking. And it's open. Now I'll show you the inside of this. This is the inside of the locking mechanism. The bypass cylinder is right there, and here is all that wiring I was referring to. I'll push the key in, and you can see the cam lock is just drawing back the whole hardware assembly, everything. Now for the rake. Again, I'll just push it in all the way, give it very light tension, and start raking. Open. This is the Paragon Quartermaster, model 7650. It is also discontinued. I'll open it using the key first. It works. Now for the rake. There's the latching mechanism and there's the bypass. I'll use the key in the lock so you can see what it's doing. It's simply rotating an arm and that arm lifts up on this, the release. When you enter a correct access code, the circuitry sends power to a motor that rotates a fitting which also pushes on this release and that pushes on this, the latch holding the door closed. Let's see if I can rake this open upside down. Yep, it's open. This is an Ivation product. It does not have a model number. It's called a biometric fingerprint recognition safe. Like a lot of small personal safes I've examined, this one has a decorative plaque over the bypass. And the safe comes with an Allen wrench, so you can remove it. The lock is working. Now for this. This is an exceptionally weak lock. I'll show you the inside of this. That is the bypass cylinder. I'll open this using the fingerprint reader so you can see how it normally functions. 
that was the fingerprint reader. Now to close it, you press a button on the outside. This is one of those motorized bolt work mechanisms where the bypass cylinder overrides the device by drawing the entirety of the bolt work assembly out of the way. Now the rake. And it's open in less than a second. The last thing I want to say about this is that none of these little short cylinder open-ended cross locks that I've examined, and I've played around with dozens of these, none of them have had security features, no security pins. I've been able to rake open all of them using these little rakes. I paid about $7.50 for the set of them. If somebody can go online and buy a set of tools that will open any safe fitted with these cheap little cross locks, there's no point in installing these locks on safes. They're obsolete.